So I came across this error on this computer that I just got. It is a Dell Optiplex 755. And I get this error whenever I turn it on. It says performing automatic IDE configuration. So I'll be going through a solution to solve this. So uh, first of all, I would advise if you come across this error, try changing the CMOS battery. I did that with this computer, but I, I'm still getting this error. So I'll be working on a different solution and uh, hopefully it works. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'll be turning off the computer. I'll be switching off the computer. I power it off directly from here. It's powered off. And I'll be taking, unplugging the power. Take out the power cord. Okay. And I'll be opening it. I'll be opening it up. I open it up. So let's see. Right, so it's open. I just turned off the computer and I've opened it up. So the first thing I would advise is try changing the CMOS. So as you can see, this is the CMOS battery. It's a CR2032. I actually did that, but still the error was showing up. The second thing I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to be Unplugging the data cable going to the hard drive. As you can see, you could you can see the hard drive over there. I'll be taking out the data cable that is leading to the hard drive, unplugging it. So that's the next thing I'm gonna be doing. Pull this out. So as you can see, these are the two cables that are connected to the hard disks. I have just unplugged them. After unplugging them, I'll be powering on the CPU once more. And uh, this time around, I'm going to be pressing on F2. Initially, when this was still plugged in, whenever I press on F2, it still goes to the arrow. But this time around, I've just unplugged them. And I'll be pressing on F2 to go to setup when the computer is turned on. So let's see how that goes. So here we go. I power on the PC. And I press on F2 as it's coming up. F2. It says entering setup as you can see there. And it takes me into setup. So there are some changes I'm going to be making. First of all, I'll be changing the date and time. I come over here, as you can see, the date and time is actually not correct. I hit on the enter key. It takes me in. I change it to today's date. Today is September 26th. Okay. So. After doing that, the next thing I do is I'm going to be hitting the escape key to save changes. I hit on the escape key, hit on escape on my keyboard, and it asks me if I want to exit. Yeah, so I go to exit and I wait for the computer to turn on. Let's see what it does. Okay, so it, it tells me I have an unsupported memory configuration. Please populate DIM1. Okay, so that means I have uh, an issue with uh, my memory. I'll be taking them out and cleaning them in a moment. So I press F1 key to continue. 
okay no boot device okay so i'll be turning off the computer and uh, as you can see i have my memory cards over here the dim memory cards are here i'll be cleaning them and i'll be putting them back in and i'll be connecting the sata hard disk drive back and uh, let's see how it goes I just finished cleaning the memory slots and I've put back the memory. I've put back the memory cards in their place and I've also connected the hard drive back in its place. So um, I'll be turning it on and let's see how it reacts. Okay, I just turned it on. Okay, memory changed F1 to continue. Okay, F1, no boot device. Okay, let's try F1 to reboot. Okay, so uh, it's clear that the problem I'm facing now is uh, with regards to the boot device. Uh, it's actually not recognizing the boot device. I just got a hard drive here which I'm going to be using to test to see if the problem is from my hard drive. I've just finished changing the hard drive and I've also cleaned the memory slots on the PC. So uh, before I power it on, you know I just changed the date in the setup. There's one more thing I need to change so I'll be showing you guys what that is. I power this up and I press F2 to go into setup. Okay, it goes into setup. All right, so I come down here to the drives and uh, SATA 0 is actually the hard disk drive, so this needs to be turned on. It's on. That's good. I come to SATA 1. SATA 1 is the CD-ROM. That needs to be on. As we can see, it's on, so that's good. SATA 2 is actually not being used, so this needs to be off. So I come in here, I turn this off. This is okay. This is okay. I also go to the diskette drive. Diskette drives are kind of like pretty much obsolete. They are not used that much anymore. So I come in here and I turn this off. Or if I want, I could leave it on USB. You know, I could actually leave it on USB. Does it make a difference? Or off? Okay. All right. So I'll be hitting on the escape key and saving the changes and exiting okay fortunately the computer boots up without any errors you know it does not give me any errors like press f1 to continue and all of that and uh, that's really what i like that's what i like to see so as you can see that's the process of setting this up